this may not be so much about God, but something happened to me tonight. Not tonight, but this morning. I got off of work around 1 a.m. And I don't always park in my yard. Sometimes I park a bit down the street at times. Not always, but sometimes. So I parked in that area and I got out out of the car and locked wait a minute before I shut the door I locked the door and I believe then I noticed the police officer's vehicle on another street facing me. So the door is already shut and locked. I may have taken five steps away from the car, maybe three, four, somewhere around there, perhaps. Anyways, Sometimes I recheck to make sure my door is locked. So that morning, while that police officer's vehicle was there, I rechecked to make sure my door is locked by pulling on the door handle. So, after that, I started walking to my house. About halfway, about halfway, the police officer drove near me, got out of the car, and flashed a light at me, asking me questions. Okay. Now, we have the right to remain silent, right? We don't have to answer police officers questions. We don't. Some people may not know that. So I was exercising my rights, my right. So he was asking questions like, do you live around here? Uh, is that your car? And I was not answering him. And he pretty much was saying, uh, why am I not answering him? And if I don't answer him, in so many words he was saying this, if I don't answer him, uh, he may have to take me to the station, fingerprint me, and we may have to go through unnecessary things because I won't give him the answers he wants or something like that. And I still would not answer him. Okay. So I believe he called for backup and I believe a woman and man officer came 
And he continued asking me questions and I would not answer him. So he asked me if I have any sharp instruments on me or something like that. And I did not answer him. And he told me that he is going to search me. And I told him I don't submit to searches. And pretty much what he told me, because he saw me pulling on a car's door handle that something like I am suspected of trying to break into a car or something like that. Okay. How is it a crime to pull on a door's handle? So if I am somewhere and I am walking down the street, is it a crime to pull on a door handle of a car? Is it a crime? How can you suspect me of trying to break into a car by pulling on a door handle? I saw you before I rechecked my door to make sure it is locked. I saw you, meaning I saw the car. Anyways, um, I was searched without, um, agreeing to it. I did not agree to it. And I believe they saw maybe all three, maybe two saw my driver's license. And I think the woman called in called in my name and driver driver's license number i guess they wanted to see if that was my car and they found out it was my car and the initial police officer was trying to make it sound good as like trying to make it seem like his intentions were pure. Like saying, if someone was trying to break into your car, wouldn't you want someone to investigate that person? Blah, something like that. And I did not answer him. And, um, uh, After a while, he told me, I am free to go. I believe a bit after this situation, I was feeling hurt and disturbed. I wanted to cry a bit too. Minding my own business. You saw me. I believe I saw the police officer's car. Before I rechecked my door. How is it a crime to pull on a car vehicle's door handle? How is it a crime? Listen now. At this job, I am going to be off work at 1 a.m. Do I have to continue going through this mess Every night, do I have to go through this? 
listen now, you may disagree with me, but I feel like I was racially profiled. I truly believe it. One, it was very early in the morning, around 1 something a.m. Two, this big black man <laughs> pulling on a door handle, walking outside. What he did, to me, I don't think it was necessary. Did you see me trying to break into a car? How can I be suspected of breaking into a car if I only pulled on the door handle? Um, If I am wrong about this, please tell me. If those officers or officer was wrong, please tell me. Because I believe it was very, very wrong. Maybe they thought I was ignorant and may not know some of my rights. But I am not going to answer no police officer where it is not against the law. Please listen. I don't think it is against the law for a police officer to lie. So why should I even answer them at all when they can legally lie? If I can do something, if they are wrong, and I believe what happened this morning is recorded, if there is something I can do about it, if they are wrong, please tell me. Because this was very unnecessary. I can see if I had a bat and I hit my windshield or something like that. Okay, but I pulled on my door handle and you stopped me and called for backup and searched me without my consent and somehow say I am suspected of something like trying to break into a car is it because i am not properly shaved is it because of this right here my skin color honestly do i have to go through this because i may have to work a bit often and i may get off at 1 a.m well a police officer drive behind me for a while, which did happen back in the past at times. Will a police officer drive behind me and follow me for a while because it is really early in the morning and because not that I am doing anything wrong, not that I am doing anything wrong, but because I am up out at that time and i am the wrong color i don't like this man i don't like this i guess the neighborhood i was in maybe you know it is strange to see some people like me i guess which i think there are others my color in that neighborhood i guess i guess i look too hood or something maybe i look too ghetto ghetto however you pronounce it please tell me something may god bless you